Compression testing is used to replicate the load that is applied to a container during storage and or distribution. This is particularly important when we're maximising storage space within our facilities or within transportation. Packs are designed to be stacked on top of each other and it's important that we understand how much load can be exerted onto these packs. We would expect this would be used amongst retailers and anyone distributing food throughout the supply chain and also just storage within storage facilities. It doesn't have to be tertiary containers, also primary containers which are stored, refrigerated, frozen or ambient. The forces exerted during the test are displayed on a computer. This equipment is capable of forces up to 20 kilonewtons. The test will stop when the maximum load has been reached or if a pack or box deforms to a set percentage level which you decide at the beginning of the test. It can also be used for primary containers, again to establish the amount of load that can be exerted onto it. In this case the plastic is deforming at the bottom which indicates that the pressure exerted on the top is in excess of its capacity. The pack to be tested is placed between two platens, an upper and a lower, and the dimensions are fed into a computer. The upper platen is lowered towards the lower platen to measure the force required to crush, in this case, a box. The force reading given to crush or deform a box can also be calculated back to understand the stacking factor or the weight a container can withstand.